Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the vlog today. I wanted to talk to y'all for just a few minutes about one of Kiddo's strengths. For those of you guys who don't know me and have never watched this vlog, my name is Caitlin. I'm a single mom to a really amazing nine-year-old boy with autism. So Kiddo is minimally verbal. He started talking around six years old and he's still to the point to where he is not conversational. You know, he doesn't speak in sentences. It's just kind of single word, um, maybe two word, more so requests of stuff that he wants, like food or playground, things like that. Dale is one of the smartest kids that I know. He is highly intelligent. And, you know, first and foremost, that's one of the things about autism that I want to just say right off the bat is autism is not a measure of intelligence you know just because an autistic person appears to be delayed or um, handicap or you know not understanding or whatever that is not a measure of their intelligence he is such a little smarty farty and he just blows me away with his the knowledge that's in his head and i feel like i you know even as his mom i'm learning more and more about him every day and he just he's a wealth of knowledge. There's so much going on in that little noggin of his. But one thing that I've really come to understand over the past year or so is how smart he is with numbers. So where it first started was we would go to the pool in our apartment complex because Kiddo loves to swim. He's a very active child. He loves to play outside and be active and bike riding and swimming and all those things. So we would go to the pool and they had like a lot of the uh, poolside you know, sun chairs laid out for all the people that live there. There's never anybody there using them though. It's always a pretty empty pool, but we would go and he would like to go from chair to chair and he would like to listen to me count as he was going from chair to chair. I think there was like 12 chairs at the pool total, something like that. And so then he started repeating me. Well, for the longest time, I thought that he was just learning by recognition. I thought he was just scrolling so to say or repeating the numbers that he's heard me say so many times from him going from chair to chair and me counting out loud so i didn't think too much into it i mean i thought it was really cool that he was learning his numbers but then one day somebody had taken a chair away and you know i don't know how it happened it got rearranged or something like that so you know on the row where there was 12 chairs there was now like 10 and he started at number one and he would go from one to two to three. And as he was getting in the middle, he was doing the math in his head and he was realizing that there wasn't 12 chairs. So he stopped and I kept counting and then he picked up at the right number. He did the subtraction in his head and he realized that there was only four chairs left and I wasn't quite there on the counting. Does, does that make sense? So. I don't know if I'm making any sense. So anyways, so he learned to kind of do the math in his head and he learned that there was less than 12 chairs there and he waited for me to catch up with him on the counting so that it would end on 12. <laughs> so smart, such a smart kid. So, you know, that's one thing about autism is sometimes I feel like he's just repeating a lot of what he's heard and it's hard to know if there's a lot of meaning behind what he's saying, but there so is. I mean, he loves number puzzles and letter puzzles and I know that he recognizes the, the number the actual numbers you know 1 through 10 or 1 through 20 or whatever but to figure out if there's a meaning behind it recently he's become fascinated with muffins and he loves to get the little mini muffins for breakfast and that's like his thing right now so I asked him one day I said do you want one muffin or two muffins and without even batting an eye he said two so he knew that two was greater than one. He, he's so smart, you know? So just to test him out, I'll say, well, do you want two muffins or four muffins? Four. Four. <laughs> so, you know, again, without even batting an eye, he said four, and he knew that four was a greater number than two. And I think a lot of it, you know, he absorbs in school. He absorbs in watching some of the PBS um, TV shows because they do a lot of numbers and letters and things like that. But... The moral of the story is that he's absorbing so much from his environment around him. He really, really is an intelligent kid and there's just so much that he knows that I don't realize he knows. But 
He does tend to gravitate a lot towards numbers. He understands the difference between half and whole. Um, he understands, he likes to make patterns, which has a math component to it, you know. He'll, when he's playing his Legos, he'll like make a couple of different towers and like each tower has the same patterns of colors as you're going up the tower. So he definitely, I think, math is gonna be his strong suit. And, you know, I am fully prepared to support him in that and to kind of hone in on those strengths. You know, that's that's one thing I've always been a big believer in is, you know, with autism, it's very common to have a uh, few areas of weaknesses or what appears to be a weakness and then like a strength, you know, something that the, the person is really fascinated in and really driven towards and for me, what I've always wanted to do is rather than to focus on the weaknesses and try to get the weaknesses up to, you know, uh, grade level or ability level, not that I would totally neglect those and not pay them any attention at all. I think it serves a better purpose to focus on his strengths and to, you know, support him in that and, you know, allow him to thrive in those areas that he's really, really good at, like math. So that's something I think is really cool. And, you know, I'm really just loving the fact that he can do math. He might be minimally verbal. He might not be able to communicate or have a conversation with somebody, um, but he's gonna be really good at math one day. So I think that's super cool. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next vlog. Bye. Let's count our muffins, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 12 muffins. Kiddo, do you want two or four muffins? Two or Four. Four muffins. There you go. What? Four. One, two, three, four. Four muffins. Oh. <laughs> Show. Phone back. What are you doing? You got four. That's, that's a lot. Four muffins is a lot. Wits, wits. There are many muffins. What? Two? Two. Two muffins? Two muffins? Two muffins? Two? Muffins. Two? Muffins. But you already have four. Two muffins? Okay, four plus two. I know, I know. Look. How many muffins is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six muffins, that's a lot. Mm. I don't know about that. Can mommy have one? Nope. Mm. Yes. Okay. I don't know, I'm gonna help you eat these. Help! buddy. Three. Oh, you want three popsicles. Okay, here you go.